We want to give you an update of some of the things that are coming up online. First of all, on Sunday morning, we are going to have an online service. There will be uh, worship time as well as a message from Isaiah 53 as we continue to study about our suffering Savior. Um, there will be ways that you can create a watch party on Facebook we're looking into for those of you who are on Facebook, but the video will be available on a new YouTube channel that we have for the church. Uh, please continue to check your email and look for updates on Facebook as well so that you can be a part of these things that are happening. Uh, a few weeks ago, I recommended a devotional from John Swanson, a missionary church pastor, counselor, chaplain in Fort Wayne called Lent for Non-Lent People. And earlier this week, Tina and I were sharing this together, and it, it was very meaningful to me. And the day's title was, And Jesus Says, Don't Test God. The topic that I want to share with you is the difference between trusting God and then trying to get God to do things the way I want them done. Let's go back to what Jesus said to the devil about jumping when Jesus was being tempted in the wilderness. Jesus said, it's also written, do not put the Lord your God to the test. Want to go exploring for a little bit? Jesus was quoting Deuteronomy chapter 6, 16. But he left out the part of the sentence. In Deuteronomy, Moses writes, Do not test the Lord your God as you did at Massa. Let's keep exploring to find out more about Massa. Deuteronomy 6 refers back to a story told in Exodus 17. We know that the Israelites were on their way from Egypt to Mount Sinai. But they didn't know where exactly they were going. They just knew they were following a fire and cloud. They discovered they had come to a place where there wasn't any water, so they grumbled and quarreled with Moses. Moses tells them to trust God, the God who brought them out of Egypt, the God who made a path through the sea, the God who had given them food with very pre precise instructions and showed them he would provide for them if they trusted. But trusting wasn't what they did. They grumbled. And Moses said, why do you put God to the test? God was testing their faith in him. He was giving them an opportunity to trust him. But rather than trusting, the Israelites created a test for him. Give us water or we will question whether you are really God. The place got named Testing, Massa. Forty years later, Moses says to the people, don't test God like at Massa. And several centuries later, Jesus says to the devil, we're not supposed to test God like that at Massa. And 2,000 years later, we read it and think, am I setting relational traps for God to prove he loves me? Through these challenging times, let's grow in our faith and our trust in God and believe that he will care for his children. May the Lord bless you.